the kitchen. It smells good over there. Uh, it certainly does. Lee, now on Bounce, I'm here in the kitchen with Chef Jill Aker Ray. Uh, you just said, you know, you haven't been here on the night side. Uh, bouncing quite some time. You've been doing the morning stuff, I right? I have, but I love the night. Well, I'm a we, night girl. We so. like having you here as well on the night, so welcome back. Thanks, uh, and I love the cooler temperatures. Okay, I'm ready for that, and this recipe is perfect for that. Okay, feels okay. like Thanksgiving-y kind of, uh, if you will. Yeah, that anything is a big of a word, Thanksgiving-y? Fo thanks Thanksgiving-y, okay, right, football-y, yeah. no. uh, even Halloween. Okay, okay. Halloween-y. Halloween-y. Okay. Halloween all right, good deal. All right, what so, you making for us? So I'm not a good baker, let's say. My grandmother was, but this is a hot apple pie dip. So hot this I can dip. do. Okay. So what you do is you take eight ounces, or I'm, all the measurements will be on my Facebook page, but mm -hmm. you take softened cream cheese. Softened cream cheese. And I've cut up okay. some apples. I like a variety of apples because I like a little tart and a little sweet. Mm -hmm. um, first, you're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar, brown sugar to right. your dip mixture, okay. and a fourth of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice okay. or apple pie spice. And you can get that in, in anywhere? You can anywhere. get that in any grocery store. Comes already mixed for you. Okay. So that's yep. a great combination. And then you just want to blend those into the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to mix half of our apples into this mixture. Okay. And put it in. The cream cheese is kind of tough to mix sometimes. Yeah, it? it is. I've got a little bowl here. So okay. that's, oh, it's a you. really yeah. easy recipe. This is something that you can do with the kids. Okay. Good enough for, for me. All right. And then you mix in half of your apples. Just half. Just half because you're going to save the other half for the top. Okay. And you mix those in. You've mm -hmm. set your um, your oven on 375. Okay. Now, is this your recipe? Did you, you, come, you came with I did this? come up with this yeah. recipe. Right. Good deal. Do you, what do you do when you, do you just kind of experiment to come up with different recipes? Yeah, I what think that do? everything has a base. Like, you know, most recipes have come from a variation of other recipes a lot of times mm -hmm. or inspirations. Right. Um, so, and then, you know, you add and subtract and do your own thing. Okay. Okay, okay. so then this goes into a pie tin or in this case, this container. All right. And then you're going to add the rest of your apples. Okay. So you got a little topping on of the top. apples on top. Oh, I got you. You're going to add, in my case, I did glazed pecans. Okay. And then my grandfather used to eat his apple pie. I don't know if you know anybody who did this, but he used to eat it with cheddar cheese on it. Really? Uh huh. He would do a, a slice of cheddar cheese on the side. Now, is that just it was just him, or is that that's uh, not a I tradition think it's a for anybody? Is it? I think it might be a Midwestern oh, okay. kind of thing. Has anybody you know, heard of that before? Uh, Lee? I don't know that, but I don't think I've had we eat a lot of cheese in the Midwest where I grew up. So, you know, okay, come so, on in. I mean, I, so this goes stand, in the oven. Standing over there, looking yeah, over there. Come on over. Let me get him over here in the game. This that's goes a, in the so oven. So Lisa, that's a Midwestern thing. So she knows about it too. Okay. Go so ahead. it goes in the oven for ten minutes. To ten minutes. And it comes out and it's pretty hot. It actually is pretty hot. Yes. But in the meantime, you could serve this with any kind of crackers. Okay. But what I like to do is what my grandmother used to do for us. When she'd baked a pie, she made her own crust, she would take the excess pie dough mm. and she would roll it out for us. Mm -hmm. And you can do the football. Okay. Oh, it's kind and of the football shape. She would make she would just cut them in strips mm -hmm. and then she would bake them off with cinnamon and sugar. How cute. And we would smell you know, that smell reminds me of being at my grandmother's house mm -hmm. doing that. It's a turkey. I've got a turkey here. <laughs> yeah. you can do a football. Do a football. Uh, and I've got a round cookie cutter if you want to make pumpkins. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. We can score that. And then, so you put these shapes out. Mm -hmm. And then you just sprinkle them with a little bit of cinnamon sugar. Maybe, car you know, score your football. Cinnamon sugar makes everything taste better. Mm -hmm. So cinnamon sugar. Mm -hmm. And then you pop those in the oven. I think it's 450 degrees for about 10 minutes. Okay. And they come out. And then you have... Little, little your little Thanksgiving Aww, turkey cookie. Your little yeah. turkey that? or yeah. any kind of crackers and it makes it smell good. It tastes delicious. You've got to try you okay. got to try this and see what a, you think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe right. with one of those pie crusts. Okay. As he tastes tests, if you're interested crusty. in any of Chef Jill Ikeray services, she can be reached at the website here on your screen. Uh, we have also put the recipe for that hot apple pie dip on our website, WBTV.com. Just look under the recipes section. Chef Jill, thank you for being here tonight. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm glad What's to be here. What's that, Delano? You're amazing. It's pretty good. <laughs> and it's easy. It's no more mornings for you. There you go. All right. Night shift. Here we go. Thank you, Chef Joe, for <laughs> being here tonight. And thank you for watching WBTV News on Bounce. We'll Who be back cheese? with more news at 11 